Hey everybody, welcome back to Squarebox Games. Today we're doing a Marvel Champions Let's Play. Uh, we're going to do Gwen Stacy Ghost Spider against Rhino. Never played this matchup before, so we'll see how it goes. Rhino in pure solo can be pretty swingy with his threat. We only get up to 7 and we're done. Uh, but he's going to start with 14 health. We've got 10 health. Uh, I've just drawn my hand, so let's see. I'm going to leave it down here so everyone can see what we got. Actually, I'm going to leave my health right there. Okay. Um, let's see. We can get Spider UK out. I'm going to go ahead and... Swap the Ghost Spider, since we don't have any Alter Ego stuff here. Probably, I'm going to play Jump Flip for defense. When you would take any amount of damage, prevent two of that. If you pay for this using the Binding Resource, remove two threat from the main scheme. So that'll give us a little more wiggle room there. And then I'm going to use these two to play for Ghost Kick. So whenever I use a basic power, deal six damage to the enemy. So I'm going to attack Rhino for two. Which puts him at 12. And that's going to activate this. So we're going to do six damage to him. That's going to get him all the way down to 12 on this first phase right away. We're playing standard, by the way, if you haven't noticed. I think that's going to be it for our first turn. So we're going to reset. I'm going to draw up to my hand size of 5. And the villain's going to go. So we are going to add one threat to the main scheme. Then Rhino's going to attack us. I'm just going to take it. I'm not worried about uh, the damage on this one. So we're going to take 1, 2, and then 3, 4 with the boost. Actually, I'm just going to... Do the discard pile right there. All right, so we're going to prevent two of that damage. So we're only going to take two total, which is going to put us at eight. And then we're going to remove two threat from the main scheme because of jump flip as well. And then we're going to get an encounter card. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support your control. If nothing was discarded that way, gain surge. So we're getting surge here. When revealed, choose to either take two threat or two damage, or place one threat on the main scheme. Nah, we'll just put a threat on the main scheme. He doesn't have guard, so that's good, but we do have a minion to deal with. So it's back to our turn. I can just attack and get rid of that guy right away. Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just attack and kill the minion. And then... I'm gonna get rid of these three to get Spider UK out. Probably just leave him as a defender so we can use his ability there. When uh, he defends against an attack, deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to the number of web warrior cards you control. Which right now would be two, because we have Ghost Spider and Spider UK. So I think that's going to be it. We didn't do any damage to him this turn, but we did a lot last turn. We're going to draw up to our hand size of five, which is looking like just a bunch of resources. Not a big fan of that hand, to be honest. But we can use these resources to cancel some wind revealed effects. So, villain's turn. I'm gonna gain a threat there. Now we can only get the seven, so I gotta keep track of that. Uh, the villain's gonna attack us, and I think. Um, oh, I forgot to do. Ready her with those with, with those cards. Oh well. I guess we're gonna defend with spider you or ghost spider this turn. So we're gonna take one two. Uh, three four. Total. Our defense is three, so we're only going to take one hit down to seven. Now we're going to get our encounter card, which is Enhance Ivory Horn. So I'm thinking we can use this interrupt here. When a card is revealed from the encounter deck, deal damage to the villain equal to one more than the number of boost icons on that card. And they cancel its when revealed effects. Well, it really doesn't have a one revealed effect, and we're not going to be able to get three uh, fist resources this turn to stop it. So I'm going to pay these two for a pure equipment punch to do that. So we're going to do three damage to him, because the boost icon was two. Oops, wrong one. So he's going to be down to three. 
And then that lets me ready once per phase, we're in the villain phase. So now it's our turn again. So we could just go ahead and get right into the second uh, second phase of the villain, but I may just wait one more turn. I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to attack for two and thwart for one. So Spotty UK is going to thwart one for the wiggle room, take a damage, and then we're going to get Rhino down to just one hit. And then I'm going to play Sure, put and punch again. Or I'll just, I'm paying the resource to have it out. Actually, I can't. I have to do that as an interrupt. So we're going to reset, draw up to our hand size of five. Web binding. While paying for this card, spend a list of resources when an enemy would activate. Cancel that activation. It's a minion's activation. Do four damage to the minion. Okay, so we're going to take... One more threat there, and then when the villain is going to attack, I think... Hmm. We could just cancel his activation for this turn. All together. Let's just do that. What do you say? So we're going to pay this. When the enemy would activate, cancel the activation. So Rhino is not going to do anything. We are going to get an encounter card. When revealed, you are confused. If you're already confused, this gains search. So we're going to get a confused card on Ghost Spider right here. Let's put it right beside her. And it's our turn again. We can save these two cards for web binding again for next turn. I say we just go ahead and go right into phase two. So we're going to attack for two. That's going to knock Rhino out. We're going to take a second phase, bring that in. He's going to have 15 hit points there. And then when that happens, we uh, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the break in and take in side scheme, which is right there. And shuffle the encounter deck. So when that comes out, when revealed, place an additional one threat per player here. And then we deal one encounter card extra every turn during the villain phase. So we're going to have three threat here to start off. We'll get an extra encounter card this turn, but I think we can deal with that. Um, I guess let's go ahead and use Spider UK to give us a little more wiggle room on the main threat, because really quickly that can get out of hand. And then we still need three fist resources to actually get rid of that. So I have a feeling we may have that the rest of the game, but I think we'll be all right with Ghost Spider here. Okay, we're going to be done. We're going to reset. Draw up to our hand size of five. We got Ticket to the Multiverse, which is a great card. And then Young Love, which is a team up card with Miles as well, but I don't have him out. Or we are not playing with him either. So Ticket to the Multiverse is great. So you can remove it from the game, discard your hand, shuffle your discard pile into your deck, and draw up to your hand size and ready every Ghost Spider card you have. But we could use these three wild resources to get rid of that, which I think is what we might, we might do. So first thing we're going to do, Rhino's going to activate, but we're going to play these two cards to pay for web binding to cancel the activation. Then we are going to get two encounter cards. Oh no, obligation, worried father. Search your deck, hand a discard pile for the George Stacy and set him aside. Attach this obligation to him. I don't think we've gotten him yet, so I think he's in our deck still. Let's find George Stacy. Exhaust Gwen Stacy and remove the obligation from the game to add George to your hand. Okay, so we're just going to set him over here and as an alter ego action I can get him back and then that wasn't too bad since he wasn't even out yet then our second encounter card because of this hazard icon attached to rhino when he would take any amount of damage uh place it here instead and then once he gets to five damage he basically discard it so he basically can take five five extra hit points here and then I'm gonna I guess we'll wait till our turn and th that's it so our turn now, 
I'm gonna spend these three wild resources to just get rid of this plus one attack he has right there. Hmm. I'm debating whether to get rid of the hazard icon. We'll do that. We're gonna thwart one with Ghost Spider or with Spider UK to get rid of another threat there. Next turn we could dedicate both of them and end it. And then I'm gonna do two damage to Rhino. So I'm basically going to stack up to 5 damage here. Then once that's at 5, it goes away. We can start hitting him again. Uh, we're just stalling at this point, but it's okay. We just don't want that main threat to get too high. Let's draw up to our hand size of 5. Maybe we'll get some strong attacks here. If it doesn't kill me, that's going to heal, heal 2 damage from the hero. Ooh, we get one of our web bracelets, a phantom flip. And another one doesn't kill me. So not bad. We could defend and use this to just get rid of breaking and taking. Which I think that would get rid of the hazard icon before we had to get the encounter cards, which would be great. The villain phase is going to start, so we're adding one threat to the main scheme here. The villain's going to activate. I am going to defend with Gwen, actually, because I know I'm going to play this card. So three which is his attack, plus the boost card of one. So we're going to take one damage. But after I use the basic power, I'm just going to use these two cards. I can remove five threat from a scheme, which gets rid of this. And then once per phase, when I, you know, use a... Uh, Response or interrupt ability, we can ready her so she can attack next turn. Okay, not bad. So now we're just going to get one encounter card. When revealed, a bomb scare is in play. Assign X damage among heroes, blah, blah, blah. That's not in play, so it's going to gain surge. When revealed, Rhino heals four damage. If no damage is this way, gain surge. He can't heal any damage because he's at full health. When revealed, give Rhino a tough status card. Okay. So, Rhino is now tough. Okay. Our turn. Don't have much in the way of resources, but it's okay. They can attack for two, just get rid of the tough status card. I think is what I might do. Yeah, okay. We're going to attack to get rid of the tough status card. We're going to do one thwart here, give Spider UK one health left, and he's probably going to defend against Rhino this turn and deal two damage to knock more off his uh, armored suit right there. I think that's it. So we're going to reset. I'll just keep these two cards, and then we'll draw up to five. I would really love some attack power here. It's like we're not going to get. Mm. Okay. We really need some attack power so we can get him knocked down. We don't want to keep stalling because he'll get through this encounter deck and get an acceleration token. All right, we're going to add one to the main scheme. Rhino's going to attack. We're going to defend with Spider UK this turn. So it's one, two, three, plus a blank. He's going to die, but when he defends against an attack... As an interrupt, I deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to the number of web warrior cards you can draw. So we'll just put two of the damage there. Spidey UK is gone. Rhino's only got one more health on his armor. Then we can actually start hitting him again. And we're going to get an encounter card. <sighs> Hydra Mercenary with guard. Bummer. Okay, it's our turn. Just want to start hitting Rhino for damage again and things keep getting in my way. Well, he's got a guard, so let's go ahead and attack for two. And put two damage on that minion right there, the mercenary. And then I'll pay... I really want to do that, but it's okay. I'm going to pay these two for actually what doesn't... I can't do that. I'm going to pay these two for what doesn't kill me. Heal two damage from the hero and ready your hero. So we're going to get up to 8 health. 
We're readied. I'm going to attack again and just get rid of this minion. And my next turn, I want to play one of these web bracelets. So we're going to reset. Actually, I don't even want that. We're going to mail that card. And then we're going to drop the five, and hopefully we get some dang attack power. That could do it. Uh, web of Life and Destiny. We can ignore the cost if we have the Web Warrior trait. After a Web Warrior ally leaves play, choose a player, that player draws a card. That's nice. And then we've got a little bit of defense here, so... All right, villain phase, add one here. He's going to attack us for three. I'm going to defend. Probably going to use that card. So three versus three plus whatever the boost is, which is zero. So I'm not going to take any damage. So I, I am going to do this just to get rid of threat from the main scheme, even though we're not taking any damage. I'm going to pay one. When you would take any amount of damage, prevent two of that damage. If I paid for it with a lightning card, which I did, remove two threat from the main scheme. And then we're going to get an encounter card. And the villain attacks you. Great. Could have used that then. But I do get a reset because I played that card. Uh, so we're going to get attacked for three, four, five. I'll defend. We're down to five. Or done the six, sorry, we took two damage. So now it's our turn. I'm going to play that because it's free for us. I'm going to pay two for this web bracelet. So whenever we resolve an interrupt or responsibility on an event, we can exhaust it, draw a card. Not going to do much damage or anything, but we still have six health. We have good defense. Hopefully we'll get some attack power on next turn, so play the waiting game and then hopefully we can start dealing out some mega damage like we did on turn one so reset we're gonna go to a hand size of five there we go ghost kick that's what i want okay spider-man miles awesome across the spider-verse we can exhaust a web warrior you control to search your discard pile for a web warrior and put it in the play so Probably going to do that and get Spider UK back if we want, but uh, Spider Man Miles, after you play him, you can stun and confuse an enemy if you control at least three web warriors. So we may want to play Silk first. I think that's what we may do. Okay, we'll see. Uh, but it's the villain phase. Add one there. We're going to get attacked. For three, I'm going to risk it. I'm not going to defend. So I can maximize my attacking next turn. One, two, three, four, five. We're down to one. And an encounter card. Don't be an attack. Guard. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. So it's our turn. I really want to play. There's a lot of good cards in this, this hand. I don't want to get rid of this because... If I get this out, I can use these guys as resources and then get them back. But I don't have this out, and I use these guys as resources, and they're not coming back. Um, as good of a card this is, I think we've been managing the threat pretty well so far. So we can use this as a resource. I'd like to get rid of that mercenary this turn, especially because he has guard. Because I want to use this to deal 6 damage to Rhino, and I don't want to waste that. We're going to pay with Phantom Flip and Miles, because we're obviously not playing with him this turn, to get Silk out. After you play Silk from your hand, if you control another Web Warrior, we do search the encounter deck for a treachery card and discard it. So the villain schemes, that'd be pretty bad. Gang up's pretty bad. Give Rhino a status card. The villain attacks you. We only have one health left. We're going to have to swap. Uh, it's alter ego form this turn. So I'm going to get rid of advanced. So we don't get schemed out here. And I'm going to shuffle these cards. Uh, let's see. Should I go ahead and swap the alter ego form? And 
heal, maybe? Nah, we'll be all right. Okay, Silk is going to attack this Hydra Mercenary, and then Ghost Spider is also going to attack the Hydra Mercenary to get rid of him. We're going to swap the Alter Ego form. So I can choose to either shuffle the ticket the multiverse from your discard pile into your deck or ready George Stacy. We don't have George Stacy out, but I can exhaust Gwen and remove the obligation to add him to your hand. But I'm already exhausted, so I'm going to shuffle ticket to the multiverse back into my deck, which I mean two wild resources is hard to say no to, especially because our deck is only four cards. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I think we're ready. So we're gonna ready up, draw up to six because we're in alter ego form. Three, four, five, six. Got a busy board here, especially with a single play mat. Okay, villain's phase. Please don't thread out. Adding one, he's going to scheme for one plus a boost of one. So we're at four or five, just like that. And then we're going to get an encounter card. Attached to Rhino, when he attacks, the attack gains overkill. Excess damage is dealt to the allies controller and then discard it. So, bummer. Got a bunch going on here. Okay, our turn. I think I need to recover. That's, that's for certain. But let's see how much damage we can do to him next turn. We need to do one damage, which I can do with Silk to get rid of his armor. And then we have to do 15 damage. So I could potentially do 6 when I use a basic power. Which if we didn't heal, I could do 1, 2. If I swapped a hero form and attack, that would be 1, 2. That would be 8. And I would use that to pay for it. So then we could use that to ready our hero. Attack for two more, that would be 10. And then we could play Return the Favor to... Ooh, we might be able to beat him this turn. Okay, this is going to be crazy. We're going to try it. Okay, I am not going... To heal, but I'm going to swap back to Ghost Spider. I am going to attack with Silk to do one damage, which is going to get rid of that armor. Finally, that was on their way longer than I expected it to be. Silk is going to go away, but when a web war warrior ally leaves play, choose a player, myself, that player can draw the card which is another ghost kick, all the stack base right here. So now we're going to attack for two. Watch this, guys. Thir 15 down to 13. And then I'm going to pay these two wild resources for this hero response. After Ghost Spider uses a basic power, deal six damage to the enemy, which is going to get us down one, two, three, four, five, six, down to seven. And when I play a response or interrupt card, we can ready Ghost Spider, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to attack again for two, which gets us down to five. And I'm going to pay... Doesn't really matter. These two cards, well, technically I can, uh, I'm not going to do that though. I could exhaust that to draw a card, but then I would have to shuffle my deck and add in a counter card, and that's not worth it because we're going to beat him right here. As a re another response card, since I attacked a separate time after she uses a basic power, deal six damage to the enemy. And he's only got five health, so bam! Actually, kick, kick, kick. Uh, we just defeated Rhino. We got him down 
15 to zero in one turn. So we did technically 16 damage right there and we could have also played that card to reveal a treasure to do five more damage. So we just destroyed him. So that was a little crazy. We had a ton of damage in the first round. We had several rounds of kind of nothing, just kind of stalling out with him. Minion, kill the minion, minion, kill the minion, armor, do some damage to the armor, toughness, get rid of toughness. And then we were only had one health too, <laughs> but I like to play aggressively. So I could have healed instead and then swap back over, but we may not have actually gotten him dead this turn, but we were almost going to thread out too. So, but I love Ghost Spider. She's awesome. Uh, she plays a lot differently than a lot of other heroes with all those response cards. And, you know, a lot of the times you'll play some of those cards like when you're when, when the villain phase is going on. So you'll defend and then play a ghost kick. We just never had the opportunity to kind of do that because our ghost kick kind of came tearing our hands when we needed to use them for attacking. But that just shows ghost spider can be pretty powerful. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching the this Marvel Champions playthrough. We love playing Marvel Champions. Let me know what you guys, if you guys play with Ghost Spider, do you guys keep her in protection? Do you swap her to a different aspect? This is mainly, I think, just her pre-con right now. I may have shuffled one or two other cards in. I usually like to play with the pre-cons a lot, just to kind of have that baseline, and then I'll start swapping things out as, as I need to. But there's so much content that I have for this game that I can just play with pre-cons and probably never get bored of that, but there's so much more to the game once you start changing decks around. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like this, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to us. And then if you hit that notification bell, that'll let you know when we have more Marvel Champions playthroughs, when we do unboxings for Marvel Champions, plus all the other games we like to play. But until then, you guys go play some games.